Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, take 2 raised to power 6 to the left hand side. That is, we have x minus 3, 4 raised to power 6 minus 2 raised to power 6, then equals to 0 here. The next step, we can write this as x minus 3, 4 raised to power 3. Then all raised to power 2 as 2 times 3 give us 6, then minus 2 raised to power 3, all raised to power 2, also then equals to 0 here. Then, yeah, this follows when we have a square minus b square, which is the same thing as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a minus b. That is. Yeah, a is standing as x minus 3, 4 raised to power 3, and b standing as 2 raised to power 3. Then what we have here, follow this and becomes x minus 3, 4 raised to power 3, plus 2 raised to power 3 into brackets, and also open brackets x minus 3, 4 raised to power 3. Minus 2 raised to power 3, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Then, yeah, we have two possible cases. The first one, x minus 3, 4 raised to power 3, plus 2 raised to power 3, equals to 0. Or we have x minus 3, 4 raised to power 3, minus 2 raised to power 3, equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, this follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus that is plus b raised to power 3 with the same thing as a plus b into brackets. Then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square. Then what we have here, follow this and becomes x minus 3 plus 2 into brackets and open bracket x minus 3 that's x minus 3 serving as a then all square minus 2 times x minus 3 then plus 2 square close bracket equals to 0 here that like is yeah we have x minus 1 into bracket and open bracket expansion here give us x square minus 6x plus 9 and minus 2 open this bracket we have minus 2x plus 6 and plus 2 square that's 4 plus bracket equals to 0 here then here yeah, we have two possible cases the first one x minus 1 equals to 0 or we have x square minus 6x minus 2x that becomes minus 8x then here you bring this together 6 plus 4 that's 10 10 plus 9 here we have plus 19 plus bracket equals to 0 here watch this video to the end and put your comment also share this video Solving on this side, we have x equals to 1, which is a real solution here. And here we have, excuse me, sorry, here we have a quadratic equation where he equals to 1, b equals to minus 8, and c equals to 19. Apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a and here what we have becomes x equals to minus minus 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 all square minus 4 times 1 times 19 then all over 2 times 1 that is here, 
we have x equals to minus and minus that's plus this gives us 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 square we have 64 and minus 4 times 1 times 19 we have 76 all over 3 here then next step here this becomes x equals to 8 plus or minus square root of 64 minus 76 that gives us minus 12 then over 2 but this we can write this as x equals to 8 plus or minus square root of 4 times 3 times minus 1 all over 2 that is here when we separate this root 4 that's 2 we take it out and we have x equals to 8 plus or minus 2 then we have root 3 with minus 1 is i over 2 then yeah 2 is common here and we have x equals to 2 into bracket 4 plus or minus root 3 high then over 2 that is here yeah, 2 cancel each other we have x equals to 4 plus or minus root 3i then the value of x here we have two complex solutions then solving from the second case here this follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 do the same thing as a minus b into brackets and open brackets a square plus a b plus b square then what we have here follow this and becomes x minus 3 minus 2 into brackets and open brackets x minus 3 all squared and plus 2 times x minus 3 plus 2 squared close bracket equals to 0 here that is yeah this becomes x minus 5 into brackets open bracket expansion here give us x squared minus 6x plus 9 then yet to open this bracket we have plus 2x minus 6 and plus 2 squared as 4 plus bracket equals to 0 here then this becomes x minus 5 into bracket open bracket x squared minus 6x minus 2x give us minus 4x then Minus 6 plus 4, that's minus 2. And then minus 2, that gives us plus 7, plus bracket, equals to 0 here. That is, here we have two possible cases as well. The first one, x minus 5 equals to 0. Or we have x squared minus 4x plus 7 equals to 0 from here. Solving on this side, we have x equals to 5, which is a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation, we are equals to 1, b equals to minus 4, and c equals to 7. Applying the quadratic formula as well, we have x equals to minus, minus 4, plus or minus square root of minus 4 squared, minus 4 times 1 times 7 all over 2 times 1 then here we have x equals to minus times minus that's plus at this here we have 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 square that's 16 then minus 4 times 1 times 7 that gives us 28 then all over Two. That is next step here. We have x equals to four plus or minus square root of sixteen minus twenty as minus twelve, and all over two. Which implies you can write this as x equals to four plus or minus square root of four times three times minus one all over two. And when we separate this with 4, that's 2, we take it out. And we have x equals to 4 
plus or minus 2, and we have root 3, root minus 1 is i all over 2. So this here, we factor 2 out here, and this becomes x equals to 2 into brackets, 2 plus or minus root 3 i left and over 2. Then here, these two cancel each other. And we have x equals to 2 plus or minus root 3 i. That is, also we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, altogether we have six solutions in this problem. Two real solutions here, two complex solutions here, and two complex solutions here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.